guys, it's Angela, and today I'm going to be doing the TMI versus TID versus TDA tag. And I saw this video over on Emma Books' channel, and I was like, I have to do it. I mean, I'm sure you all know who Emma Books is, but I'll leave her in the description down below. She is the queen of Shadowhunter content. Literally the queen of, the queen of all the Shadowhunters. I'm just going to say that right now. So I'm super excited to do this tag because I love all of these books for different reasons. And I'm so excited to be comparing them and answering the questions and see which series gets the most points. So if you see a picture of a book in the corner of the screen, that means I'm going to be talking about spoilers for that specific book. So you can either mute it or just fast forward if you haven't read all of these books. So the first question is the best first main character, and that would be... Clary, Tessa, or Emma. And for this answer, I am going to be going with Emma from the Infernal Devices, Lady Midnight. Um, she's just so well-developed and just so fantastic. She's also blonde, but that's, that's not why I'm picking her. I just think overall she's a great main character. The second question is the best Herondale. So, of course, we have Jace and Will, and another Herondale who's introduced, which would be Kit. For this one, again, this was quite an easy answer, and I'm going to go with Jace Herondale. As much as I love Will Herondale, I am trash for Jace Herondale. I get it, he can be kind of cocky sometimes, and I'm not really into that, but... He's so great, and I love him so much, and I just can't not pick Jace, because he truly is my favorite Herondale. And seeing his character development throughout the whole series is so satisfying, and seeing, like, the wonderful young man he becomes is just, it's fantastic. Third question is the best love triangle. So we have Jace, Simon, and Clary, Will, Jem, and Tessa. And there's a few love triangles in Lady Midnight, but the love triangle that Emma did, I'm just going to do that one too. And that would be Julie and Emma and Mark. And for me, this isn't even a question. Of course, it's going to be Will, Jem, and Tessa. This is the best love triangle I've ever seen in literature. I will die on this hill. This is the best. Question four, best villain. We have Sebastian, Mortmain, and our spoilery villain... Annabelle Blackthorn. This I'm going to have to say Sebastian from the Mortal Instruments. <laughs> I find his character to be so interesting. Like I would read an entire book just about Sebastian alone. He's such a dark interesting character and he is one of my favorite villains in all time. Of all time. Not in all time. Of all time. Not even like just within Cassandra Clare books, I mean like within all the books, he's one of my favorites. Question 6, Better Army. We have the Dark Army from the Mortal Instruments, the Clockwork Army from the Infernal Devices, and lastly, the army that's in specifically Queen of Air and Darkness. Now I don't even want to risk spoiling anybody for this one, so that's why I'm just referring to it as the army, because since that book is so new, I'm sure like not everybody who's interested in the Shadowhunters has read it yet. So I don't even want to risk that, and so I'm just going to call it The Army. And if you read the book, you know what I'm talking about. So my answer for this question is going to be The Dark Army. And my reasoning for this is because The Dark Army, just like, the people you love all of a sudden being turned, like, against you and Shadowhunter's kind, and, like, when they have to, like, kill the people they care about, like, I think that's one of the hardest armies because there's a lot of emotion behind this army because they are people that you that these characters loved and like they're family members who are just evil now and you have to like morally be like well they're gone they're never going to be the same but also you don't want to see a person you love die so it's quite difficult and so for that reason this is my favorite army six the best first book city of bones clockwork angel or lady midnight my answer for this question would have to be Lady Midnight. I mean, look how thick she is compared to the rest of the bunch. Like, 
She's like two of these combined. Anyway, that's not the point. Well, it kind of is because she really, um, there's a lot of character development within this book and a lot of plot, and I just think that it's her best work yet. And so Lady Midnight is definitely the best first book in a series. Question seven, best female sidekick. We have Isabel Lightwood, Cecily Herondale, and Christina Rosales. Now for this question, I know that Emma answered and she said that all of them, that she would give a point to all of them. And I truly agree because these three ladies are just so fantastic and just amazing. They're just amazing and they add so much to the story. And I don't think that picking one of them over the others, it doesn't feel fair because they're all so amazing. And that's why I'm going to give them all a point. Sorry if that's kind of a cop-out or if like I'm copying Emma, but I really agree with what she said. Question seven, best location, the New York Institute, the London Institute, and the Los Angeles Institute. Now for me, this is really actually quite difficult because when I look at the New York Institute, New York is my home. So part of me just obviously wants to put this because it's my home. But then we have the London Institute, which is the other one that's hard for me. And I think I'm going to pick the London Institute. Because when I read the Infernal Devices, the nostalgia I feel for the London Institute. And just like, this is the first institute, if we're going um, based on time period, this is the first institute that gets introduced in the Shadowhunter world. And I just love the London Institute. So as much as I want to pick New York, I have to pick London. And now we've reached the last two questions, where it's time to talk about the best last book in a series, and of course, the thick books. So this brings us to question nine. Best final book. City of Heavenly Fire, coming in at 725 pages. Next we have Clockwork Princess, coming in at 570 pages. And last but not least, we have the thickest queen of them all, Queen of Air and Darkness, coming in at 912 pages. But the answer to this question is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. I'm sorry, but there's no book that can beat this for me. At least not yet. And finally, the last question. Which book has the best epilogue? So for this, of course, City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Princess, and Queen of Air and Darkness. And for this one, I'm going to have to say Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Will be surprised? Because I'm not. Um, this is my favorite last book and my favorite epilogue. This whole book, there's tear stains on the pages. I loved it so much. So that wraps up the TMI versus TID versus TDA tag. And for our final scores, we have five points to the Infernal Devices. I wasn't going to say this in the beginning, but the Infernal Devices is my favorite, and I kind of had a feeling that it would pull through number one. Four points to the Mortal Instruments, and three points to the Infernal Devices. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are a fan of the Shadow Hunters, I would recommend doing this tag because it's so fun, and I'm quite interested to see everyone's answers. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.